believe that this doesn't have to have um, too much of a blow because it's just so lovely that after that amazing meditation talking about breath, um, then one part can come through now and start talking about um, even some more exciting things to do with how we're going to be able to bring illumination and light into our field in different ways. So, 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 welcome, 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 Wampa. Hey, hello. <laughs> so grateful. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. So grateful to be here. Oh, thank you so much. We've got 42 people here at the moment. Yes. So with lots and lots of people asking for the recording. So it's been amazing seeing this was only decided a week ago. And uh, so just want to say thank you so much for giving your time. I know that your internet connection in Costa Rica is a little bit. <laughs> it's so, so, but we're doing it. No, no, it's happening. It's flowing well. Yesterday we did a three hour uh, live stream uh, webinar, right? It was amazing. We're doing good. It's happening. The, the sun is setting in the right place and we're flowing. Yay. Well, your eight minutes serve is yours. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank you for inviting me. It's an honor to be in this special day. I've all my life been around the sun and the passion and, and how can I connect deeper to the powers of the sun. And I've been working with shamanic cultures and all these ancestral wisdoms for over 25 years. And, and they all come to the same, like, hey, let's embody the sun, right? And we hear everyone talking about, um, oh, the God of the sun, and we've misinterpreted so much what that is. But it is really about connecting with that inner sun that we are. The sun is just to remind us that. So today I feel it's such a day to, to remember who we are, to what's our nature, what is our light nature. And when we analyze who we are, what we are, and what we're doing in the world, right? And see how everything works inside of us. Like the biophotons flowing in our being that connect every neuron in our being, right? And when you see that and you're like, oh my God, the biophotons, that's the same energy that's transmitted by the sun. So, oh, we are physically, literally in, in the quantum perspective, we are a sun but we are not tapping into it because of all the clouds that are blocking the sun. When we release the clouds, when we do the alchemy, right, in quantum flow, we release whatever's holding us back and we open up again to the truth that always was, it has always been, and it always will be. But for me, it's just acknowledging that, we forget that. So today I feel it's such a great day to like, take a deep breath and like really remember and and, and be open and receptive to how am I connecting with my inner son right now? How available I am to this energy that's flowing through me right now? And even go to the sun and like connect directly with the sun. Close your eyes and feel the sun on your skin and then feel it in your heart. And let the sun really remind you of that warmth of that of that inner kingdom that it's always been there and we kind of get lost in the outer world. So this galactic activation that's happening because it's actually a portal that's being opened right now in the planet and it's universal. It's really about owning this inner sun, owning the ahau. And the ahau is that inner kingdom, that the sun, that everything that I'm looking outside of myself, it's inside of me. And how we open it up, as you've seen in the quantum flow uh, uh, training that we're doing, it's all about connecting your core and finding that the sun is your passion, it's your third chakra, like it's actually inside of you. And when you find your purpose, when you go into that place of like, what really moves me right now? It's, I think it's the perfect time for us to reflect on like, what moves us in life and what really has always been there for us since we're born. We forgot about it. And now that we can't go out and we're in quarantine and we're a lot inside, it's time to like, oh, wait, maybe I love to dance. Maybe I love to sing. Maybe I love to write. Maybe I love to help people. And I just start messaging people and doing Facebook lives. Like, what is your passion? And start waking up that inner son, which is your inner child, which is your connection to the heavens, because it's that humble uh, uh, perspective of life that you're always open and receptive to life to love, to light, right? 
And then when you activate that and you, and you activate that inner sun, the whole, for me, path of human beings in this planet is how do we take from the third chakra into the fourth, right? From the core or the hara, how we can we connect that with the sun of the heart, right? Because many people get stuck in those three, third cha three chakras that are survival mode. It's like, let me just, it's me, 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 me. It's just about me. But now we're opening. Now, anything that's about you is burning down right now. If we're so attached to me, 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 we're going to suffer a lot in these times. It's going to get more and more intense. So it's a time to transcend that and really open up uh, to us. It's not a me, me, me story anymore. It's how can we all win right now in the world? And that's where the heart comes in, right? And that's where we open to infinite love and abundance and prosperity. And we accept that's our natural state. And from there, we connect to the galactic sun, which is our frontal lobe, actually. Many people see it as, oh my God, the crown chakra and the woo-woo thing. No, no, it's your brain. It's your frontal lobe and you can wake it up right now. And you can connect the core, the lowest chakras with your heart, which is your bridge between heaven and earth, your bridge between your core, between your lower body and your upper body. You connect them through the heart, but then you open up to the channel. And actually, if you analyze the, the Mayan calendar, which I always love doing because it gives me so many perspectives of, of life, right? And as you know, I'm an eagle, so I'm always observing that moment of, oh, wait, how can I see a bigger picture of this? How can I not get stuck in the story, right? But today is really all about channeling and opening up as channels and accepting we are channels of the divine. We think that's for psychics, that's the woo-woo thing, that's for, we are literally vehicles between heaven and earth. We are like acupuncture, like needles that are connecting heaven and earth. And every step we take, if we take it with consciousness, we're waking up the energy in the earth, in this new consciousness, and bringing the sun through us all the way down into the earth. And this is what helps the earth evolve at a faster rhythm. What if we all did that? What if we all could breathe and walk and move and, and be and have that presence of I am the channel. I'm channeling the biophotonic energy coming from the sun through my crown, all the way down to the earth. So earth and heaven, earth and the sun are making love through me. How amazing is that? Divine masculine and feminine. Oh my God. Is there anything more amazing? <laughs> oh, love, 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 love. <laughs> so good. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. So I don't know how much time we've got, but if, if, if uh, well, you've got you've got another couple of minutes. Oh, good. So let's do a breath work. Blue eagle, you know, you've got the creativity, the vision, oh, yeah. the mind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's do a breath work together. Let's let's do a two minute breath work and, and open it up. Let's do some quantum flow because quantum flow is really all about opening the channel at a physical, energetical, emotional, mental level. We're holistic beings, right? So let's start. Let's start actually just by grounding. Take some time, everybody. Thank you so much for being here and being present and opening your channel and just take some time to bring one hand in your core and one hand in your heart and just connecting with that in intention of I open my channel, I open to my inner son, I open to my intuition, to the I am, to the, that infinite silence, that infinite intelligence that's always there, that infinite light. And so it is. And whenever you're ready, bring both hands to your to your belly, to your, to your hara, and taking a deep inhalation, exhale and bring the navel in with this sound. Shh, that activates your core, that activates your hara, start bringing the energy into your frontal lobe. So deep breath, big belly, big Buddha belly, I call it, you expand it, and then you exhale through the sound. Shh, big breath. Beautiful. One more. Now let's bring some alchemy. Deep breath. And exhale at the last of the exhalation. This is biophotonic breath. At the end, you do. It's like clearing all the unconscious matter that is in your belly. Deep breath.
that intention of clearing. Let's do three more. One more. Exhale all the air out, keep it out, keep it out, keep it out, rewire your nervous system. Now inhale as deep as you can. Hold it, big Buddha belly, big Buddha belly, hold it, relax your jaw, relax your neck. Let your heart be open, let your chest be open and exhale with the sound of ah. And just relax like you're floating in infinite space. Now take a deep breath, bring your arms up, expand your body, expand your capacity to receive, expand your capacity to channel as deep as you can. Hold it, bring your navel in, your pelvic floor active, hold it. That's bringing the energy up into your frontal lobe, up into your crown, hold it there. Now sip it through your mouth like this. And open yourself up, open yourself to the intention of being a channel of the universe, of being a channel of this light. And then exhale, receive. Let it flow, ah, relax your arms, let it flow, let it flow. Beautiful, let's do one more guys, one more. Open to that inner sun that we are together. Inhale, open your arms, stretch your vehicle, your body, hold it. Bring your navel in, bring your pelvic floor active. That's the Hara activation. Open your heart, expand your chest, open all the way up to the crown, zip it in. And hold it, expand it, hold it as much as you can. If you can smile, it's even better. Try to relax, receive, receive, receive. I am. And then exhale with the sound. Ah. And just let your body flow. Floating in space, gently letting the hands come in front of your heart with so much gratitude. Always coming back to this heart, the center of all the vortexes, the center of all the chakras, the center of life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful for the gift of life, for the biophotons flowing in every cell of my being, for my purpose, for the divine being of light I am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and so it is. <laughs> and so it is. <laughs> Woo, that was a, a quantum activation. <laughs> that was a quick one, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 amazing how just a small uh, activation of like meditation and breath work and you know can actually um, bring the illumination and light and everything through. It was um, it was funny because before we actually started this transmission, I thought I'm going to pull a card for everybody. Yeah. And it came through as pillars of light. Oh yes, of course. And and yeah, and you know this <laughs> is the thing. It's. Um, you know, this, there it is, look, p pillars, pillars of light, and it's from the light workers deck. Oh. And, you know, the pillars of light, and we're all talking about, you know, as you, as you, as you, I literally got um, vibrational cells, my, all my cells vibrated in my body, and we were talking about, you know, we're all these pillars all over the world, and I'm thinking, everything that we're talking about here today is connected, but, you know, this is why I love these kind of transmissions, you know, I didn't know what you were going to talk about, I didn't know what card I was going to Yes. Play. Veronica was, didn't know she was going to talk about five of her points. And then Amita talking about five points, you know, as Deepak Chopra and Sanjeev say, it's synchrodestiny. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. I'm having all these people on my Facebook Live because I wanted to share this. And they're all saying, oh my God, I'm in heaven. I pierced the quantum field. That was three minutes and I went beyond anything expected that's so funny right oh, sometimes the simplest amazing, amazing. That's, fast... that's because we're blue eagles that's the thing it's all to do with the, the my energy that we've all got <laughs> yes boom just like that right so beautiful oh thank well, you so much thank you so much so yes. are you staying on one part because we're gonna we're gonna put the um the floor over to dr sanjeev chopra next nice beautiful thank you so, so much thank you so much thank you so much um one part really blessed thank you um, so let me unmute you, Sanjeev. So really blessed to have Sanjeev in the house. Thank you so much. As I mentioned earlier, meeting these two lovely people in um, in Mexico only in November, and you know we work together. We've got so so much. What's up, guys? Together, well, just wanted to tune in with you guys and uh, connect, right? Because. Um, 
yeah, it's a beautiful, a very special day today in the Mayan calendar. I couldn't talk about it because it's part of like a big, like huge thing now. It's like we have the family of the back chopper coming through and sharing all their knowledge and all their 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 wisdom, you know, and like activation and whatever comes through. But it, it, I feel it's just so important, guys, that we connect like this, how we're connecting, right? And doing little activations here and there, reminding the community that we are, you know, thank you really for showing up, guys. Thank you really for being present. Thank you really for, for, for creating this together, guys. We are creating the, the humanity together. It's the new humanity. And that's why everything is happening right now. Because it's time to step up as a community, guys. So I thank you all so much for just clicking in the Facebook Live and like, hey, what's Juanpa up to? I didn't even put a name. I didn't even have time to like explain what was happening. I'm like, I'm just gonna do a surprise opening here for people. And there you go, guys. You show up. You you are part of the synchronicity of life because that's how life works when you're tuned into you and you're tuned into your highest self and you're tuned into the infinite possibilities you live in synchronicity you don't live anymore in the good or bad luck that doesn't really exist that's actually pushing your power away so we're here to own our power we're here to own the divine beings of light that we are and especially in this day guys it's a day to to go deep inside it's a day to meditate it's a day to to be present with you with you the gifts that you have the gifts that you are like i would recommend something that we're doing in the quantum flow training and people are loving it and at the same time they're having a lot of of challenges because i told them like we're working on the core right now like all the science and art of awakening the core and i'm like okay guys that's your inner son but you know that your inner son is actually your gifts right so minimum share with the group 10 gifts that you say you can own and it's like they come through you and knowing that it's not your gifts because nothing is ours, right? I'm not talking about owning something in that way, but really saying like, you know what? I am compassionate. I, I, I am a, 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 a patient being. I am a serving being. I love serving. I am like whatever that is. And find the challenge in that. How can that uh, uh, wake up in you like to realize who you are in every way possible? I call it the soul gifts because it's the gifts that are from the soul. And even if they're not flourishing right now for you because you're in fear or you're in doubt or you're not feeling good with yourself, deep inside you know who you are. You know, so journal on that. Nurture that. Sometimes we just got to focus on the positive guys on all the goodies that we have that we are and and stop focusing so much in the doing let's focus more in the being <laughs> it's time for the being guys not getting lost so much in the doing we get so lost in matter in the outside world instead of like how am i feeling right now how am i living my life right now how am i connected right now to my gifts and what i can offer to the world you know, so there's a little just golden nugget for you guys. Go and journal. What are your gifts? And please share them with me. I would love to know if you can share them with me on this Facebook Live. Just write there like the gifts that you, you say you can own right now in your life. I would That would be amazing, guys. I would love to hear that from you. Just don't worry. Nobody will read them. There's going to be many of them. But if you can just write down and own them and say like, this is who I am and I love this part of myself, you know? If you can do that, I would really appreciate it. I will come back and check on it and we, we will be connected in this positive realm, right? In this realm of infinite possibilities, when you raise your vibration and you acknowledge all these gifts that are inside of you, what happens is that you start attracting more and more and manifesting the life of your dreams from within, but let's start by, by really embodying those gifts that we are, that we were born with, that we know are there. It doesn't matter what that is. Please share. All right. I'll come back and check on you guys after. Have an amazing day. I'm going to come back to this amazing, uh, beautiful uh, stream that they're doing there. And we'll see you later, guys. All right. Boom.